going on from always leading with our paddle. A uh, very common thing that we do, it, let's say the ball is going up, uh, or you think it's going a little bit deeper than normal. So much of that tendency for players is they're backing up and they're giving up ground on the court. So this often is related to um, a return of serve, a third shot drop, a third shot drive, any of those types of things. So what we're going to do to kind of practice that movement is I've got a partner on the court now. This side is really what matters. Hey, um, she can be at the net. She can be anywhere, anywhere you want. What I'm going to do is start with both feet in the blue. Okay. So when my partner feeds the ball, I'll give her that ball. Okay. She's going to either feed it down low or she can toss it up high where I've got to move forward on that. What we're really trying to do, no matter what, we are not backing up, okay? We are going to play out the point once we've got that ball in, okay? So we're kind of mixing it up. So I'm going to really kind of drop it, try to drop it back in. And really the key factor is even if it's deep, I'm still absorbing it down here. So I can drop the paddle. I don't need to go down like this. So often, often, often I see players, they feel like they have to get down in order to get a low ball. Look where my paddle's going. So I'm losing a lot of range and space from this position. Look at where my paddle just naturally goes if I let it. Hey, that's the mentality that I want. I just want to catch it on the paddle. I don't necessarily want to uh, try to scoop it or lift it because the paddle's going to do the job for me. Okay. All right. So I've got both feet in the blue. She's going to feed it to me, and I'm going to catch it and kind of keep going. I missed that one. Let it get a little too close to me. No big deal. Because I'm not rushing in line. I'm really just, and, and the harder she can make it to me, the better. <laughs> she can mix it up all around here. Basically trying to really force me to something I would normally maybe give up my position for is the key. Okay. That's a tough one. Okay. So even it, look how quickly I can actually accelerate from that position. Okay. Uh, so if, if, and, he, and even make it harder, like smash it down at your partner at their feet so that you're they feel like oh my gosh I gotta back up I need more room hey you gotta you're you're trying to make it as difficult as you can when you're practicing this right oh. so that ball is going out doesn't matter hey it forces me to still take it out in front in the air rather than the desire to back up okay so it again that's a little too easy. That's Carter. There we go. I like it. I like that one. That's better. Okay. So I want to make it tough. I want you to feel the pressure of what you're doing. Okay. So this one, she's actually going to toss it up high. Okay. So I cannot back up off the court in this. Okay. Let's try it out. So I'm going, oh, I got to adjust. That's fine. Forward. Okay. So I still get it. That wind actually almost took it way over there. Okay. There we go. So it's really making me minimize that motion of using my paddle, not allowing me to back up. Okay. It's going up. Oh, I can take that in the air. I like that. She wasn't expecting that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit. What I want you to think of is almost go up high, like a super high toss. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice. So I like that one a lot, actually, because I kind of had to wait for it to get here 
to take it up high, but I couldn't back up to do that. So I got my paddle up and let it come rather than maybe adjusting up and around. So this is again about adjusting your paddle before you really kind of think about your feet. Okay? It's all about where you want the ball when you're hitting it instead of, okay, my opponent gave me this, and now I've got to kind of see how I'm going to manipulate that ball. I want that ball where I want it. So I want that paddle up, and I want to adjust and react how I want to react. I want to practice making those choices so I'm not playing as defensive of allowing my opponent to make that decision for me.